how to set curd. Hi, I'm Anupa and I welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and a warm welcome to our series of cooking for beginners. We've done a lot of recipes in this series. Another basic recipe we're going to do now and that's how to set curd. Curd also known as yogurt and in Hindi we call it dahi. This is something that every Indian house will definitely have in their refrigerator and it is supposed to be quite healthy and it is had with most of your meals right from breakfast to lunch, dinner. Dahi, once you have dahi at home, you can make so many other things. You can make kadhi, you can make lassi, you can make chas, you can just have it by itself, you can make raitas. So once you know how to set curd, you can make so many other things. But the main trick lies in how to set a perfect yogurt. So how do we do that? What we need to set a perfect yogurt is milk and some yogurt. Now here, I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions that if I have to set yogurt, I need yogurt which means you will have to source that yogurt from somewhere. Yes, you will have to do that. If you are doing it for the first time at home and you don't have any curd at home, make sure you take at least one little teaspoon of yogurt from your neighbor or from a shop, from a dood ka dairy, from somewhere that sells milk products. All you need is one teaspoon of yogurt for about one liter of milk. That's it, you need very little yogurt to set a lot of yogurt. So what I have here is I have milk, I'm using a nice rich buffalo milk of course if you are calorie conscious and you don't consume buffalo milk you can also make it with cow's milk so in this pan I'm using buffalo milk and we have to heat this up till the milk is only warm do not boil the milk it has to be just warm warm enough for you to even touch it it should just feel warm that's it, it's already warm. I'll switch off the gas. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set yogurt in pots like these. These are earthenware pots, specially for yogurt. What happens is, since this is made with clay, it is quite porous. So once the yogurt sets in this, it stays quite thick. Because whatever excess moisture that is there is all absorbed by this clay, leaving the yogurt nice and thick. So if it's possible for you to set yogurt in earthen pots like this, do it. If not, no problem. You can also set this in a stainless steel dabba. You can use plastic container, something which you can keep exclusively for yogurt. So the milk is right now absolutely warm, just the way I need it. Actually speaking or technically speaking, this milk should be about 40 degrees Celsius. So 40 degrees is where I can easily feel the warmth of the milk and it shouldn't be something where you are not able to put your finger inside. I can do that which means this is the right temperature to set yogurt. What we will do now is we will pour the milk in these containers. Okay. So after we've done this, what do we do now? So now you need to notice how much yogurt I add to this. This is about one cup of yogurt, somewhere around 200 ml, to which I am adding one fourth teaspoon of yogurt. You don't need more than that. You see this? That's it. Just add the yogurt and mix this nicely. One more time in this one. And mix this nicely. Now there are certain precautions that you have to take. Is depending upon the climate. If it's quite cold where you live, then this will take some time to set because you need good warmth in your house. Okay, if it's very cold outside, what you do is you put these containers in your kitchen cabinet. You could also put it in a microwave which is switched off overnight. As in, you can set them at night and put it in a microwave, of course, in a switched off mode. So when you wake up in the morning, you'll find your set curd ready. Uh, microwave is one option. The second option is you can keep it in a kitchen cabinet or anything. If not anything, just take a round bowl and just upturn and leave it outside. But this has to be left outside and not in the refrigerator. Once the yogurt sets, then you put it in the refrigerator and use as and how you need it. What I'm trying to say here is that the milk or this entire mixture has to be left at room temperature for the yogurt to set. So which means you can keep it on an open kitchen platform, you can leave it in a kitchen cabinet or you could also keep it in a microwave. 
So this will take anywhere around 6 to 8 hours for the yogurt to set. If it is very hot in your kitchen, this may take even lesser amount of time. Okay, now sometimes it happens that uh, it's quite hot. In summers, yogurts get set very fast. So in that case, you have to keep a watch on them because if you keep them out for a longer time, the yogurt will turn sour. So sour yogurts are used for a specific preparations whereas good well set sweet yogurts are used for everything. So make sure that yogurt doesn't go sour for that you may have to be a little watchful and once you understand the kind of time it takes, I'm sure the next time you will get perfect yogurt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it right here and in about 6 to 8 hours I'll have good set yogurt with me. Okay so I already have two bowls of set curd with me. You see this, this is so firm and if you feel the surface of these pots they are wet. Why? Because as I said they have absorbed the excess moisture thus leaving this yogurt very thick and uh, that's the actual trick in setting a yogurt in a clay pot like this. The clay pot is absolutely moist from outside and uh, the yogurt is absolutely thick. You want to see how it looks? You see this? Such nice and creamy yogurt, perfectly done in an earthen pot. So this is perfect yogurt. Make this recipe just the way I have made it and you'll be very proud of yourself.